Good morning. 7.30 for the park not even being open. There's quite a few people in here. The virtual queue for admission to Star Wars, Rise of the Resistance, will open at 8 o'clock this morning. Thank you. Okay, well that's kind of nice to let you know. Okay, so now we've made it inside of Disneyland and we have less than five minutes until they open the boarding groups. So we're a little nervous. We're really hoping we could get into one of those because that'd be a little disappointing if we can't get on the ride today. That would that would not be fun. Oh my god. But everyone's out here waiting for 8 o'clock to run around. It's 7.57 so we have less than three minutes before they open up those boarding groups. There's so many people. Alright, so now we're just waiting on the app here. So I guess when it comes you to 8 o'clock... Find out more and then you press that. Oh. Alright, just a couple more minutes. And we find out our fate for the rest of the day. Aww. Oh my god. Everybody getting on their phone. I know, it's 7.59 now, so now everybody is on their phone. So we're gonna try it on her. She already has the app open, so we're gonna see if it automatically refreshes. Otherwise, if it doesn't, I'm gonna open it up on my phone, so we got a little bit of a backup plan. All right, just a couple more seconds, and it's gonna click over to eight o'clock. Everybody's like, get ready. Eight o'clock. Oh, there it is. Join boarding group. Okay, we are adding our passes. Group 15, done, done. All right, now everyone's all excited. They got their boarding groups. Did we get in? Okay, that's good. Everyone's all cheering. Is that good or bad? Good. Oh my goodness. That's funny. It's funny how excited everyone is. <laughs> All right, so group 15, what does that mean? What time do we go in? Um, I'm waiting for it to tell me. Oh, it doesn't even tell you. You know how mad I'd be if I didn't get in and I heard all these people like... <gasps> Oh I know, God, you you didn't so say anything at first and I didn't know what was going on. I was like, uh, did Cause we I wasn't make sure. it in? I was like, I don't see it, so let me try again just to make sure. But I've seen it in a video for Hollywood Studios, like some guy, and it like didn't load right away. But he tried to enter again and it said he already had a boarding group. So ours did that. So it was like, okay. Alright, well that's good. I, I am very happy now. We made it in. I think it's gonna like tell you which boarding group is being called right now. And then you just wait for it to say oh, okay. that 15, but I don't know. That makes sense. All right. Well, in the meantime, it's time to do a little pin trading. <laughs> Okay, so now we're looking at the app and it says that boarding groups 82 and above will only be called if all the planned boarding groups have been called back. Like, so basically, they might run out of time. Yeah, so we're looking pretty good if we're in boarding group 15 out of 82. Uh, so we just overheard someone in line saying that someone tried to get a boarding group two minutes after. So they got boarding group 114. <laughs> So we were lucky, we did that right away. I heard people like, that did it at the same time as us say they got like 79. Wow, those boarding groups went fast then, my god. I didn't know it went that fast. I feel like Disneyland is crazier than Disney World. Like there's a lot of locals, so. Okay, so we found this post on Facebook and at 8.04 they put out this sign saying all boarding passes have been distributed. So they sold out within four minutes. So it's a really good thing we got here on time. Oh my god, look at the crowd over there. That don't look good. We just want to find out if they're boarding groups already because it's been 
How long has it been? Minutes. 47 my minutes. My friend arrived at 2 a.m. and got group 121. Oh my god. That is terrible. I knew like you had, it's a, like a boarding group chance thing. Like you can't, it, it doesn't matter how early you are. You just have to be in the park by eight. Wow, I am so glad we did not get here that early. Cause I saw pictures online of people showing up at 3 a.m. and Main Street was like packed. All right, so it's now 8.55 and they have now just started boarding Rise of the Resistance. So now they're on group 12 to 14 and we're in group 15. So we're gonna go head over there now so we can hop on that ride. Yay. I'm excited. She said you're yeah, undercover. Oh, undercover, yeah. Probably because you got Darth Vader and a bunch of stormtroopers on your shirt. Yes. Oh, to me, perfect. This one. Excellent. It's in your own help. Raphael, you know I'm going to help that. Yay! <laughs> I feel like we're first in line. Oh, look at that. They have seats. That, that is a rare sight in a Disney line. Look at that. That'll be helpful. Oh, this is cool. Oh, check out this. Oh my gosh. All the blasters. Yeah, they are definitely expecting this line to be very long. We've been walking for... Oh God, it's gonna be like Pandora. That's what it seems like. If it's as good of a ride, but everybody says it's amazing. Another room. Oh, there's BB-8. BB-8, prep the ready room for recruits. Commander 9 Nam, please report back to ITS carpet. Oh, 
reading on the fuel pressure line. That's better. Check the mining and motivator. Yes, I just want to be sure. Transport is away in 30 seconds. Good. Yes, check the hyperdrive also. Transport takeoff in 20 seconds. Good. Airspeed sensor. Thank you, Nina. Black Leader, are you on your team ready? Affirmative. Engines are on. Red 2, Blue 5, report. Red 2, check. Blue 5, standing by. Systems can't really get Affirmative. Okay. <laughs> Engage repulsors and hold on, recruits. All oh, ships launch. I am Lieutenant Beck. As you heard from Ray, I have been tasked with getting you to Vakara. Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. <laughs> Black leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? <laughs> there appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. Smile. 
<laughs> the first cast member's not <laughs> allowed to. Face me, stay in your two lines, and follow close. Neither the 
resources nor the courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields! Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Down the alarm! All personnel to their stations! Sir, the prisoners have escaped. Our brains. They're ultimately hopeless. That's no way to run. Unlike any other ride I've ever been on here. Yeah, really immersive. I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but that was the most immersive ride <laughs> I think Disney's ever created. We went into space. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think about it, Shay? That one is cool. <laughs> so, uh, a couple months ago when they came out with the uh, Millennium Falcon uh. <laughs> Smuggler's Run, you know what the first thing she said when she got off the ride? Her favorite part was the line. I wasn't, no, I didn't know what to say. Like, I was a little disappointed. It was, it's still a good ride, but it's like... 
So if she liked this one, that means you know it was a pretty good ride. And even for this ride, you could even say the line was your favorite part and it wouldn't be an insult because that was actually really cool. Especially how they like, um, had you go in the room and then you run into the little escape pod and then they open you up on the, uh, the Imperial ship. Yeah. That was, that was crazy cool. Alright, well that was definitely worth getting up at 5 in the morning and have a rush over here. Yeah! Yeah, and I'm especially glad we were able to make it on. Yeah, like, that was like all by chance, pretty much. Oh, yeah, because some people we saw got here at like 2 or 3 in the morning and are in boarding group 120 something. And they're only guaranteeing the first 82 boarding groups on. So that would really suck if you came out here that early and couldn't make it on the ride today. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so we've never came to Disney for an opening day of a ride, so we weren't quite sure what to expect. But I don't know how long they've been doing that boarding pass system for. It's new, it's, I think, because they were supposed to do it for Galaxy's Edge, but like not enough people showed up. So. Oh. They didn't, they didn't get to test it out really that much. Yeah, but that was definitely a good system so people don't have to camp out overnight to get on the ride. Yeah, because like now people are going to know they don't have to show up at 2 a.m. because it's like all up for chance, really. You just have to be there at opening. Yeah, so everyone has an equal shot once opening happens at 8 a.m. So I thought that was a really good it, system it is, to do it. It's good. Like You don't have a six-hour line. Yeah, unlike Universal, which had like a 10 hour line for their Harry Potter ride once it oh opened. Oh my gosh, I yeah. could not imagine that. It was like 12 hours, I was like... Oh my god, that's... You paid to stand in line all day. Yeah, that is just ridiculous, but... Yeah, I think it's a good system, and I hope they use that more, like maybe for Marvel Yeah, for land. future rides, I think that's a great system, so people don't have to camp out overnight and everyone has a equal shot once the park opens or you could just reserve it on your phone like, yep. like that was a great system especially for us because we showed up on time we yeah. got our app open made our res reservation right away and we're able to get on it and surprisingly there was like hardly any line once we got in yeah, let's like walk through. So it, yeah, it was basically like a walk on so and what was especially cool for opening day is uh, All the people at the end. I'm assuming were all the Imagineers that they worked on the, the ride They all had tag and they started clapping and I was like, oh, I should be clapping for you Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, why <laughs> was you like, got up and for us? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was cool like unique Yeah, to see all the people that actually put in all the effort to make that ride happen, make that ride possible. Okay, so we're now finishing up at Disney. We had a pretty successful day, so I was really happy we were able to make it on the ride. And now she's really tired, so <laughs> nap time on the ride back. Pretty much. So we were lucky enough to get boarding group number 15, so we got on almost right away, right when they started putting people on there. So uh, there were some other people who weren't so fortunate, showed up here at 2 a.m. Oh and got boarding groups like a hundred something and they were not even guaranteed to be able to ride the ride today. So, uh, so we have a couple tips for you guys. Uh, to hopefully get into a low boarding group so that way you guys can get on Rise of Resistance awesome. before all the boarding cells out because that was such an amazing ride to go on. It's cool. It is definitely a very unique experience. So one tip is that I think that it's better if you're not connected to the Disneyland Wi-Fi. I heard a lot of like because if everyone's connected at the same time it's probably gonna be harder yeah so if you're connected to the Disney Wi-Fi everyone's gonna be on there at 8 a.m. because that's when they start releasing the boarding so if everyone's on at 8 a.m. it might the Wi-Fi might be really slow Buffer. which means if you have to refresh the page it's buffering you might be getting a higher boarding group and that's not gonna be good so try and use like your 4g or whatever um, yeah and another thing is that like if you're in a group I would have all of you try. Make sure that you have everyone on each phone because that'll be a problem. But if you have everyone on each phone, then everybody have your phone out and just see who's the fastest. I tried on my phone and Chan tried on hers because we weren't sure if we needed to like refresh the app right at 8 o'clock or if we just 
could click a button and you for us at least we were able to just click a button so Shannon was able to get it right away right at 8 a.m. so we got that good boarding group number yeah. but hopefully you guys have some good luck uh, trying to get on Rise of Resistance definitely my favorite ride at Disney by far you so need to show up at 2 a.m. No. so yeah good luck guys like, uh, before 8 show up before 8 yeah, so definitely show up before 8 because you got to be in the park at 8 to get your boarding group. So just be there by 8. Yeah, That's you I would go say together. like 30 minutes before because there wasn't even a line when we got there. Like when we got in the park, there was like five people ahead of us. So. Yeah, so it worked out pretty good. We showed up at 7 a.m in the parking lot and then we walked over and we had just the perfect amount of time to get everything done and get our boarding passes so hopefully you guys have some good luck too and until next video have a magical day